Nah, I beat you 1v1. You don't beat me 1v1. Oh, and it's Flamethrower Quiver Dance as well. Ooh, they ain't gonna like that. Today we are using Brute Bonnet on Sun for my OU Suspect Test Rex to see if Chien Pao is banned. I love this mon. I, I, lo I love it. And we got the loaded dice set too. It's so good, guys. It is absolutely incredible. Shout out to Mimic You Stardust for the team. And um, yeah, let's just start it off. Sun is going to be a good game. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm very, very excited about Sun, uh, especially because we have um, Roaring Moon, which goes absolutely crazy here, especially with the Terra Dragon, so we can resist every attack, uh, just in case they have random uh, Bug Buzz. But uh, we'll just start off with Tarkoal because we have an Eject Button Hatterene, so we can pivot into that and potentially even sweep our opponent here with the Bulk Up Fire Great Tusk. If you do enjoy these videos, hey, hey, if you do enjoy these videos, oh, thank you. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. We just hit 320,000 subscribers, so thank you, everybody. Um, though that definitely has to do with shorts as well. So I don't know if those people are watching this content, but for those that are watching this content, I appreciate ya. Uh, but yeah, let's see. So great tusk lead into my... Um, into my Torkoal. They have a defense race, so we know that they're not attack invested. They are straight up defensive. Uh, so we're gonna go Hatterene here. Um, even if Hatterene gets forced out, it's not a big deal. The important part is we prevent Stealth Rock. They're definitely gonna Earthquake here, or knockoff though. Smart. So still does a good chunk, not gonna lie. Definitely still does a good chunk. I wanna say that my bulk up Great Tusk goes crazy versus them. I'm not, I'm not sure what the correct Order of operations here. Yep, yep. And then Pendas. What is the correct Pendas uh, right now? Now, Earthquake, Knockoff, Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock. They do have Glamora, so I doubt it's that set. I think it's to try and beat it 1v1 with my own. I feel like that's the case, right? So, first thing I'm going to do is Knockoff, right? Obviously, first thing I'm going to do is Knockoff. Gren being knocked is great. Um... Great Tusk being knocked is great too, as well. Their bulk up as well. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, we can go for our own bulk up here and eat there. We are faster, so we should be able to beat that 1v1. I would think that's the situation. We do beat it 1v1 because we've already knocked off their item. And on top of that, I'm going to rapid spin that way. I'm faster than everything coming in two at uh, plus 1.5 times speed. So, um... They could go hard into Gren. I could earth. I could be earthquaking them too, but they're bulk up body press, so that's not the end of the world. Especially because their body press is actually going to be weaker very soon. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be faster than Gren now. They don't have knockoff, which is which is big. Basically, if I don't get crit here, I win this one v one, and I probably just six zero their team because I need one more rapid spin to actually be faster than the rest of their squad. I mean, this is good. This is really good for me. Dragapult comes out as it most likely should, and. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that because I already got the damage on this pawn. So I don't think you Shadow Ball because look how you have to Draco me. They Willow is there, which means I get to burn them back, which is really, really, really funny. And I assume they'd go for a Shadow Ball here or Draco. Good to know that my Great Tusk can tear a fire next time and beat them 1v1. Um, but they might Hex here. Uh, I'll Draining Kiss. As, as unfortunately, this... All right, this doesn't luckily let them beat me. I'm debating if I Terra here and actually stake it just because I don't want them. I, this thing is a threat and I don't want T-Spike up versus me. I think I'm going to do it because I love the Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, whatever. We get rid of Glamora. It's not the best Terra in the world, but that Mon is annoying. I don't want T-Spike up versus me. And I want to make sure we can win the 1v1, right? So Great Tusk comes out. I, I, I wonder what's going to happen here. Obviously, they're going to go for Earthquake, right? So we're going to switch. I do have the Solar Blade on Sarah Ledge, so that's going to be very important. We're going to keep it Sash intact as Greninja comes out. Very nice Greninja play. Uh, we'll make the Torkoal play. It should be able to live one hit. And this was their, this is no way this is their rocker. Their rocker was Glamora um, or King Gambit, right? So we're going to save Great Tusk. We're going to bring out our uh, Torkoal and then uh, potentially see if this is, what's it called? If this set was specs or not. They end up going for U-turn, which does lead me to believe that they are choice locked. But I don't think that means they're specs. It doesn't, they don't have to be specs. They could also be extra belt too, but that did absolutely nothing. Scarf is also an option for the speed control there too. All right, so in this situation, oh, why do they have to have this? 
<laughs> Why do they have to have the number one most used Pokemon on their team? Uh, we definitely go Great Tusk, right? I can't Terra anymore, um, so that's going to hurt. But I should still be good versus Volcarona. This is a little bit of a, a nail-biter of a game in the beginning. But get, again, getting rid of Glamora is just so good. Volcarona comes out. I do have Sarah Ledge here to kind of just bitter blade through them. Unfortunately for me, uh, as you can see by my by my ability, <laughs> it's not what I want it to be. Nah, bitter blade's always best, regardless. I could have solar bladed there, but bitter blade's just best because I mean it's sun boosted and I always get recovery here. So I can assume they they dark pulse now or U-turn. If they U-turn into my Brute, it's worse for me. I'm going to make the Hatterene play. Just in case they do Dark Pulse, because after that I can go to Brute. Uh, I think Brute KOs Greninja with Sucker Punch. And the Loaded Dice set is just looking nasty in general, right? As long as we keep Sarah Ledge alive, I should be good versus Volcarona. Yeah, there's a Dark Pulse. They knock me out there. I'm going to bring out you. Uh, which I'm 100% faster than them because of. And we'll just go for U-Turn here on Great Tusk. Bring out my own. And then proceed to... I want to say Earthquake is the play. Just in case they go Pult. Just in case they go Hard Gren. Um, obviously staying is good for them too. But every bit of damage on them is going to help my Serral Edge win the game. So yeah, they went Hard Volk, which is great. Get some beautiful damage off there. They're going to go for the Fire move here. Gonna make the Roaring Moon play, I think, because terrain is gonna be, excuse me, sun's gonna be gone. And then I could outrage, obviously, but I'm gonna go for Earthquake here. Because the more I weaken Great Tusk, the easier it is for me to win this game. And if I can KO uh, Gambit, oh, this hella dies. Uh, they, I'm glad they used their Terra there, so I don't have to worry about Terra later, which is amazing. Uh, Dragon Pulse still a threat, but I mean, Earthquake looks really, really good. Oh, 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 sorry. No, nah, don't, don't, I wouldn't call it necessarily well played. I mean, I guess technically you could see me going for Dragon Claw or Outrage or Crunch specifically, but I just went for the move that I had the least risk in my opinion. They could still Hydro here. I just, I'm keeping Torkoal because I want, his Torkoal is solid, right? Versus, I mean, I'll never lose the King Gambit now that I have Great Tusk. I should never lose the King Gambit now that I have Great Tusk. In fact, the Brute is looking crazy too. Unfortunately, my Brute can't Terra Blast now, but... We'll be all right. They probably U-turn. They Ice Beam there, which is fine. They could have Hydro. I'm just going to Lava Plume here on Dragapult. Perfect. Get some beautiful damage off of them. So I kill that thing with uh, Sneak soon. Hex or Willow. Man, I'm bringing out the Brute. I'm bringing out the Brute. I'm going hard into the Brute. I'll take Draco. I'll take Hex. I got my Attack Raise. There's the Dragon Darts that did absolutely nothing. Go ahead and burn me. Ooh, and they're trying to sub there. That don't matter. We're just going to go for crunch because we ain't trying to miss. So, I mean, I want them to burn me because I want Dragapult dead, right? I'll kill Dragapult regardless of the burn. So, I, I want Dragapult dead. And the fact that I get a defense raise on my Gambit is so bad for them. In fact, I, I feel like they had double here. I'm going to Bullet Seed, I think, because I have Shadow Sneak, right? Yeah, I have Shadow Sneak. So, I'm going to Bullet Seed just in case they want to double, expecting me to want to go out to Great Tusk because Iron Head is not going to kill me anyway. Oh, well, I don't get it off, unfortunately. I I guess going Great Tusk and getting a free Earthquake was fine. I just wanted to Bullet Z because it was, it was about sending a message, you know? <laughs> I have, it's about sending a message about what item I have. So we Earthquake here. We, uh, I think we bulk up in their face. And then we Earthquake. Yep. Because I figured they'd either go Greninja or Dragapult. So being able to kill that Pokemon, obviously, in one hit is great. Uh, we never want to risk versus Pults. So... We bring out you. And then we Sucker Punch here. If they sub, it's fine because I just go for a Sucker Punch again, right? If they switch, it doesn't matter because I have a, a great Tusk. So we're in a good shot regardless of... Uh, it doesn't matter what they do. It does not matter what they do at all in fact i'm just gonna i'm just gonna bullet seed because this will never ever ever be my own great tusk because i have leftovers and they do not yeah i might as well get up the sun if they get their rapid spin they can earthquake and knock me out all they want that doesn't really matter at all 
I could actually save this if I really want to, but I don't think I need to. Because again, Shadow Sneak would knock this thing out. So this should never ever be able to beat my Great Tusk. And I just simply Earthquake every single time just to get the damage because I can Outrage right after. Okay, they're doing a little they're doing a little bit of damage there. I'll be completely honest, doing a little bit of damage there. Let me let me calm them down a little bit. If I can force them out, I win anyway, so I I should be a little bit careful about King Gambit, I suppose. I should be a little bit careful about King Gambit. <laughs> Alright, by rabbit spinning, I'm fashioning them in the next turn. Perfect. We earthquake them after. And then we earthquake them again. Maybe I should be even more careful about. Well, actually, how much does Rabbit's been doing? 13? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I don't, I don't know if it killed that five. I'll be completely honest. That mon is a demon. That mon is a straight up demon. Anyway, we sack you. Bring out you and sneak. Nice. And all we gotta do versus King Gambit is click Bitter Blade. That way they can't sweep me. Because if they SD, I can lose. I don't know if Roaring Moon dies. I just kind of want to see. But yeah, they tried to SD there. Good game. So they definitely tried to SD there to win. But didn't work out. And we were able to uh, win that first game. And Rubana wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. So we got another game. Sun looks pretty good here. This, uh, this Sarah Ledge is pretty nice, man. It doesn't really beat. This guy though, but it's still pretty nice. And my well, the big thing I think that's great here is the bulk of fire roaring moon, which should be Skeledurge. Um, so I'm excited about that. I think we always need um Torkoal. I think we always go Torkoal, excuse me, Lee Torkoal. And then from here, I I'm not sure what I was supposed to expect. I I I think I just yawn. They could Draco me though. Draco would be very frustrated. But what am I supposed to go? Alright, we'll go Hatterin, I guess. Yeah, they did Draco. Good, good, good. Uh, so we're just Mystical Fire. If they hit me, it's fine. Uh, if I hit Skeletor, that's good too. Obviously, the Shadow Ball and will o -Wisp combo is pretty annoying. I'm just going to stay in because I would Torch Song or will o -Wisp if I were them. And it's going to force me out regardless. Exactly. So, hmm. Bring out Skelly here. So I think this thing can win, but I'm hoping that they go out into Great Tusk on this. Or that they Terra in front of me. Yeah, it does so much damage. Holy crap. I'm just going to bring out the Brute. They're going to slack off here. I got I got to bring out the Brute. This Mon is too much of a threat. This Mon is too much of a threat. I wasted my Sash, which is unfortunate, but I, I need to... This Pokemon is annoying. Because I haven't used this team enough to, to know like the correct order of... of uh, of how to beat this thing. Because technically I could Terra Fire right here. But I think just Raw Crunch is best. Oof. So they're probably going to Hurricane me, right? Hurricane, Draco, or Fire move. Okay, we'll go Roaring Moon on, on my brother. I don't think they Draco there. Yeah, they Fire move. Perfect. Don't burn. Nice. I think we definitely just Outrage Raw. No fairy type on their team. Great test comes out. Yeah, it has the it has the defense boost for one turn, but for the next turn it doesn't. So I'm gonna do a good chunk after. They probably have body press and kill me, but I need this thing weakened anyway for my own great tusk. Though it is setup fodder, I suppose. Okay. So that guy's good. I need to beat this Salamence. I can beat them with bitter blade. I can beat them. If they're defensive, I'm pretty positive the brute comes out. And gets a kill with Bullet Seed. The Brute's still so good here, so. Like, they're not going to knock me out here. I'd rather them go Salamence. I get in Torkoal and get up Sun again. And then try and, and set up with... I, I would love for them to Draco, honestly, and try and set up from there. Because I think... I want to say that Great Tusk beats Skeletor's 1v1. I could be wrong. But we're going to find out. I'll get up rocks in their face. If they Draco, it shouldn't knock me out from full. I just need to beat alive. Yeah, so I get up rocks. 
They could, yeah, we'll yawn. Yeah, we'll yawn there, perfect. And then I believe I make the, I can't growth here, so I can't actually beat this thing 1v1, which is very annoying. I need to kill something. Okay. Okay, this is this is perfect, right? Because they're basically they're asleep. So this is great. This is great. I can just bitter blade raw. In the sun, it does so much damage. I can't SD again because of the fact that they obviously have unaware. So I think they'd slack off here, so I'm gonna bring out you. Hex is fine too. I can crunch. If they tear a fairy, that means that bitter blade is better versus them, so I'd be okay with that. They go Mence, which is guaranteed to not wake up this turn. So getting rid of the Intimidator is going to help out my uh, my homie. I get a defense drop, which is whatever, right? I got the damage on Skeletor, though. I feel like I feel like I'm looking okay. I feel like I'm looking okay with my own because I get up the Sun. I bulk up and then Rapid Spin on Mence, and the Rapid Spin again, and then I go from there. So I get the sun for sure. They stealth rock. I mean, they should just go out to Skeletor's, right? Rocks doesn't matter, I think. Yeah, they do go Skeletor's. I can't bring out... I think I sack Hatterene. To Torch Song. And then go out to the Brute again and just kind of start killing. Because I want Torkoal alive, right? Healing Wish here. I, I couldn't bring out the Brute on that attack. Okay, so now I can go out to the Brute. I would Terra if I were them, so I'm actually going to go for Bullet Seed. They sack Salamence, which is basically the exact same thing as terra in my opinion. <laughs> Because they switched, so I didn't have to deal with them, is what I'm trying to get at. They switched, so I could. I, again, I could have Terra fired and hit them. But I don't think it was the play. I do not think it was the play. I get the defense raise on Great Tusk here, so I'm okay here. Yeah, having Terra fire is going to make a big difference, I think, in this endgame. I feel like I'm very close to winning this. I'm going to attempt to Rapid Spin because Earthquake is so obvious. I mean, I need to Rapid Spin anyway because I need to be faster than their, their threats. And I'm going to set up a bulk up in front of Salamence, so it doesn't really make a difference versus... I'm faster than Gren, which is the important part at plus one. And I need to be at least plus one attack to be able to deal with that. So I get the Rapid Spin off there, so I'm faster than Gren, which is very important. I can bulk up now. To get my attack at neutral, which is not that great versus Grim, but it's okay. But I need as much attack as possible. They should switch, I think. Because they can't wake up this turn. Yeah, they go Gren. Ah, I don't think I kill from neutral. That's been just 12... I don't think you Hydro because I have an Unga Bungus. I'm going to tear and bulk up again because I think they Ice Beam. If they, if they do Hydro, they get me. They Surf. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. They got me. They got They smashed me. The, the defensive core of actually Salamence was really, really, really strong. Well played. But the defensive core of just Salamence having the Intimidate was really, really good versus me. I think I if, if I had the growth version of this, I feel like Unga Bungus could have just smashed them. But I wasn't. So, one, two, three. This, ugh, they still have this mon, dude. I'm on such a pay. All right, we just lead Hatterene into this. Like, quite literally lead Hatterene into this. Mystical Fire, if they knock off, that's fine too. Surprise, considering I could Drain and Kiss and absolutely smoke you. Um... But they got me, right? But the Great Tusk doesn't matter. As long as Great Tusk is dead, like, that's amazing. Like, Great Tusk being... 
Like, uh, basically, Great Dust doesn't matter in this game. Great Dust loses to basically everything on my team, as long as I'm set up. It's the Skeletors that I'm more worried about. I'll drain and kiss here because they're playing it very... They're playing, like, hyper-offense Great Tusk. Like, like... Like, that was, like, super... The Great Tusk is dead. <laughs> and they went Azu after. Which doesn't beat me, even if it belly drums, but we're gonna go Torkoal on this now. And then get up rocks versus them. Eh, it don't matter too much. I probably just lava plume to be honest. Ice spinner there. Just lava plume. I don't want them going great tusk on the rocks. And I mean, if I can burn Azu, that's great too, right? Yeah, if I can literally, if I can burn Azu, thirty percent chance. That's not too bad. Keep Torco alive though. I want to be very careful here. You think they're max speed guys? Did thirteen. I'm going unga bungas, man. I don't care if you max speed. Don't be max speed. Don't be max. Don't be max. Because this guy, this guy smashes them. Don't be max. Don't be max. Have, have HP. They did 13 with Lava Plume. They definitely have HP. They definitely have HP. That literally did 13. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, so we got the Brute Bonnet. We got it to actually do something in this one. This is going to be nice because they're going to go out to Scizor and get roasted. Or they're going to go out to Skeledurge as I Terra and they Terra and get roasted. Or Great Tusk and get roasted. Basically, basically... I, I've decided that I win the game from here. All right, we're Terra, crunch them. Oh my God, it does a million damage. Yup, yup. Go over bullets in the fall. I didn't realize how much that did. 99 is insane. All right, we get rid of that. I'm a fire type now. They're scared as hell because look at the rest of their team. I mean, this guy wins, right? So I'm going to try and win with it because, like I said, this guy wins. Go for my own Earthquake. They do crit me, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we get the Earthquake off there. We should always be able to beat Iron Valiant because we have uh, the Sarah Ledge and well, we have the the boosted um, Roaring Moon and we also have Sarah Ledge, right? So we should also be always be able to beat that. Aerial Ace. Calm down, killer. Calm down. <laughs> Yeah, basically, Lava Plume was nice. Either insane damage on basically everything or to kill on Scizor. So, get rid of that. Beautiful. I don't think I have to worry too much about Iron Valiant, even though it's booster energy. Because I just sack Hatter in here. I keep Torko alive again just for the sun. Sun to ensure I always have a speed boost. And I mean, Amoongus is going to kill the last two members on their team regardless, right? So, oh, you better get this roll. All right, Young Sarah Lich comes out. Go for a nice little bitter blade here. I'll focus Ash. I get everything back anyway. They size shock. Yeah, I'm going to get this back anyway. Ooh, and it's boosted by the power of the sun. It's so strong. All right. We get this nice little shadow sneak off. Knockout Valiant. We should be good to go, right? Because they're going to go King Gambit after. I'm going to... Hmm. I guess their plan is to bullet punch me. I don't think that does that much. Yeah, and I th I'm pretty sure I get it all back. I mean, I have the weak armor, but I don't think that matters. Uh, the only thing that's scary is like Terra flying on King Gambit, but even then, I'm pretty sure Brute lives a hit. It's, I mean, and this is also sun boosted. Yeah, it is Terra flying, but this is also sun boosted. Oh, and unfortunately for them, I am indeed Focus Ash, uh, which I got it back due to Bitter Blade. So, ooh, Sarah was able to do it there, and obviously the Brute was really, really nice in that game too. I should probably pay attention to how many wins I have and maybe not use uh, whatever I want to use, but um, I'm pretty sure I can uh, get this. Ooh. Okay, no outrage switching. So Banded, my Banded homie is really good, but this SD Sarah Ledge looks insane here and I love, I love the Solar Blade tech here. I feel like it just straight up wins. Okay, let's play it smart here. So, I mean, I'm just going to get a Brox, right? Oh, they tricked me too? That's amazing. That's great because I can go Hatterene on the Volt Switch. Bring out Roaring Moon. And then U-Turn for the chip. Because if they want a Willow, that's fine too. Yeah. Enjoy that, Rotom. Enjoy that. Be pressured. How does it feel? Just go for Mystical Fire here. Hits everything. They want to go hard, Golden Go or Volcarona. It's just better for me. 
So we got Rotom nice and low. Obviously, my Torkoal got tricked, which is annoying. Ooh, Golden Go hard on the Sun Boosted Mystical Fire. So that's in range of Shadow Sneak now. Uh, it's also Covert Cloak confirmed based on the fact that it took nothing. There's a nice little recover there. Going to U-turn on Rotom as it comes out, and it dies. Perfect. I'm going to show them. <laughs> hey, how are you? Nah. Nah. I beat you 1v1. You don't beat me 1v1. Oh, and it's Flamethrower Quiver Dance as well. Ooh, they ain't going to like that. A uh, Bullet Seed. I definitely shouldn't. I should definitely crunch again. But I'm going to Bullet Seed on Great Tusk. I hope it gets an attack raise. Yes. Let's go, Brute. Ah, it's the fence, but I'm still going to do so much damage. Look how much that's doing. Look how much the Brute is doing. And the Brute beats their team. Right, we'll bring a hat. I don't die. That's the thing. But the hat's just the better play. Going to Healing Wish here. Hmm. Okay. With Rotom being gone, I feel like I'm in an insanely good spot. They can't touch me. I'm gonna always crunch, I think. As Golden Goat comes out and dies, the Brute's going crazy! Great Tusk is annoying. <sighs> How do I want to win this? I feel like I outrage. I feel like I go Roaring Moon and just click Outrage. I definitely just go Roaring Moon and click Choice Ban Outrage. They could tear a Fairy Guard, but this is for sure the play. Like, I, I need this thing weakened. I'm tired of this Pokemon being alive. I'm so tired of it being around. And I need it as weakened as possible. So the only the Earthquake there, nothing can come in on this. I'm 100% okay with this. So Guard comes out. It's definitely going to tear a Fairy. It's going to tear a fairy, most likely. Uh, we'll use this to wrap it in a way Stealth Rock. As Volt comes out. Can I just win the game with Sarah Ledger? Because I Swords Dance up, right? Yeah, and I just Bitter Blade now. And I get back to full HP always. And I, I should win because I have the... Um, well, I get back. I get back to full, right? Because Volcarona. Yeah, yeah. This should bring me back to full. Okay, perfect. So I, I do the exact same thing. Champa comes out. I'm gonna bitter blade that. They tear a dark crunch. All that does is activate my focus ash and weakness. Oh, not weakness. <laughs> Weak armor. Weakness policy. Guard comes out. I'm gonna do a few things so I don't lose this one. First off, I'm gonna knock it off. I'm just going hard, brute, dude. I'm out. You can curse up all you want, dude. You can curse all you want here. This is going to do way too much damage because this is loaded dice, baby. Curse up all you want. I'm sorry, but this is going to do way too much damage. Ooh, minimum. Minimum that killed. And all I got to do is click Bullet Seed because the Brute is so bulky. It's going to be able to live that one. The, okay, the Brute was kind of nice. I'm going to be honest. The Brute was kind of nice. I very much enjoyed this. Uh, we did take an L. But I can definitely salvage this all. I, I, four, four losses is nothing. I can 100% salvage this all to get Rex. But uh, guys, I hope you enjoy it. The uh, Loaded Dice was extremely fun. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite item besides Covert Cloak. Like, this generation, and I know, oh, those are the two new items. Well, no, they add the clear amulet, which I don't really use. But if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. I should have a short up later today, and I should also have a stream later today as well. But that's it. Goodbye, my friends.